Hi guys, uh, today uh, we are going to discuss about uh, uh, the UI of DV360, Display and Video 360. In my last video, I have discussed about the difference between two uh, Google's renowned platform, Google Ads and uh, DV360. If you not check that uh, video till now, I'll share the link. Uh, you can check it later. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the uh, UI of Display and Video 360. So if you open uh, Display and Video 360 for the first time, so uh, just before that, just to let you know guys, uh, this is the URL, uh, displayvideo.google.com. If you go there and if you have a, a page created login for you, then uh, then you have to log in and uh, after login, you will see this screen as a, as a first screen basically. Uh, uh, so in DV360, basically the structure hierarchy is in this pattern. So the first one is partner, partner level, it's the top uh, umbrella. Within partner, you will see all the advertisers. Within advertisers, all the campaigns, and then IO, and then line item. The last layer is line item, where you will see all the targetings, all the geolocation. So, whatever rest of the targeting, bid price, and all, generally, whatever will give most of the targetings, generally, you do in the line item. Right. So, uh, now you guys can ask me that uh, within one partner, why you are creating different, different advertisers, or maybe within one advertiser, why different campaigns, right? So just to give you one example, so for an example, uh, you are uh, you are working for a client, you are running campaigns for a client, uh, for an example, HP, laptop company. So your partner will be for HP, right? But within partner, maybe HP is selling their B2B laptop, maybe B2C laptop, they are selling accessories also. So for that, you can create separate advertisers. So one, one advertiser for HP B2B laptops, one advertiser for HP B2C laptop. Within those, you can create their separate separate campaigns so when you uh, first time open this thing within advertiser you will see these options in the uh, left side so the first option uh, this is uh, uh, within partner you will see advertisers if you click here in the advertisers you will see all the advertisers here which are created here within this partner so all the advertisers name their id how much impression they have delivered how much spend they have done within the given time period whatever time will be here based on this whatever time energy you are going to take here based on that uh, these different advertisers which are under this partner how much impression spend they have done you will see it here so basically it's a uh, UI where you will see the overall picture okay. so uh, uh, here if you click you will see all the advertisers within this partner then you have some other uh, options also right so uh, those things we will discuss this same options you will see when you will go to individual any advertisers so I will tell about all these options after going within a advertiser okay so when you are in partner level you will go to the advertiser you will click on the advertiser you will see all the advertisers so you can choose uh, whatever within which advertiser you want to go so if you click that advertiser from here it will go to this uh, page uh, so this is advertiser level that's why when you are here partner level you will see advertiser option when you are within a individual advertiser you will see campaigns here so if you click here you will see all the campaigns which are part of this advertiser. So I'll go to that uh, 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 option later when we'll create campaign and all, then I'll, I'll uh, discuss about this option. Now let's discuss the other options available here. So um, after campaign, you have this uh, option called audience. So audience uh, is as an option. If you click this audience, within that you will see all the audiences. So mostly you guys know we can create several type of audiences here. So you can if you run a YouTube campaign, people who are viewing your video, who are completed your video, you can collect those YouTube viewers uh, data. Basically, you can collect those audiences who already viewed your video. You can create a YouTube viewers audience, YouTube based audience you can create. Then if you're running a uh, open exchange display or open exchange, uh, open exchange display campaign or open, open auction based campaign, people who are clicking, uh, you can create a, a click based audience, it's activity based audience, you can create impression based audiences. So all these are activity based, you can see here the type of audiences, activity based, activity based, activity based. So, so uh, impression based audience, click based audience, people who uh, saw your ad and clicked on your ad, you can collect their data, you can create audience and you can use that audience in any other campaign for your marketing purpose, right? So those are activity based audience, you can create those audiences here in DV360 and you can uh, uh, use those audiences in in any next campaign for retargeting bar. Uh, so you, you can see the audiences and audience sizes here and different type of audiences their sources everything you can see here then analysis so analysis is an option which generally we use to create a lookalike audience 
so uh, we have to go to this analysis and then you have to uh, click on this audience profiling option so if you click cl click this audience profiling option you will go inside uh, inside it and you can create a lookalike audience how you are going to create lookalike audience so for an example you have this audience so uh, you want to create a lookalike so for an example for this audience your size is not that much big right only 72000 or maybe for this one it's 1.2 million so you want to map the other audiences which have high similarity on the index or which have high similar audiences with this one so you can take this audience as a seed audience or main audience you can take this audience as a seed audience or a main audience and you can take the other audiences or other uh, audience bases which have similar people like this which have high similarity index with this you can collect you can append those audiences also and you can create a larger base that's the way of creating lookalike so definitely you look like audience base will be larger than 1.2 million because in 1.2 million it's the size of your seed audience only but here you are taking other audiences also which have similar audiences with your seed audiences and you are taking those audience sets also so your seed audience plus a b c d uh, those audience sets so definitely the size will be much bigger than 1.2 million then uh, let's uh, jump to this creative option so within this creative uh, we can come directly to this uh, format gallery option so within this format gallery option you can see uh, your dv3 though it's a buying platform uh, the main purpose is uh, doing bidding and uh, buying your uh, relevant inventory and uh, with audience layering targeting uh, shop campaigns but though that is the main core job of the uh, core job of a dsp but apart from that also uh, uh, this uh, dv360 providing you this format gallery where you have several type of uh, creatives so for an example if you don't have your creative agency or you have not received your creatives in time you can ask uh, the raw assets from your client and uh, based on clients requirement by using those raw assets you can create your creatives here based on this format so it's, it's a wonderful uh, uh, option which d 3 xt provides to its users so you can create your own creative also you just need the raw assets from client okay now okay so that's the main option within this uh, uh, creative so now we are going to this uh, inventory option so in inventory option these are the uh, main areas where you have to focus so first is plan so this plan is uh, this is the gateway of reach planning tool so, so most probably you guys already use reach plan in google ads same way i have a reach planner here in dv360 also right so uh, you have to uh, go to this inventory tab or inventory option from inventory you have to go to this plan you have to click this plan you will see this option new plan when you will click this new plan this ui will open this one will open here you can create your plan uh, by taking the uh, right property you can take youtube and partners you can take only open auction uh, inventory or open auction type of properties uh, uh, i mean based on buying type basically uh, or publish on a deal also you can take so for an example now i am uh, taking this youtube and planner so if you click this youtube and planner then this ui will open so here uh, i mean not this one so this one will uh, come after taking all those uh, geo and uh, date from when to when you want to make this plan you want to see the uh, forecasting the dates everything after taking all those things these will come you have to for an example here i have taken south korea as a location g south korea geo then i have taken one month uh, february 12 to 13 march as my campaign date probable campaign date one month campaign duration then i want to target not all audience i want to target only male female and 18 to 54 so demo and uh, gender everything i have taken here based on this it will show me what's the uh, total uh, population basically so in south korea as geo uh, for one month uh, for male and female 18 to 54 you will see here the total census population that means total population i mean uh, within youtube environment out of youtube environment also overall in open auction environment the, that is census population and that always will be higher than youtube population because it's a subset of this one right so uh, census population you will see it around 27.2 million is the size for this male female 18 to 54 for south korea for one month and uh, youtube population definitely it's slightly smaller than 27.2 it's 25.4 million so that is your base 
सो यू कैन टेल फॉर दिस डेमोजियो फॉर वन मंथ फॉर साफ किया दिस इज माई टारगेटेबल ऑडियंस साइज बेस यूनिवर्स यू कैन से सो विद इन दिस यूनिवर्स बेस्ड ऑन योर बजट हाउ मच बजट यू आर टेकिंग हेयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई टेकन फाइव मिलियन वोन कोरियन करेंसी सो विद इन दिस फाइव मिलियन वोन आई कैन टारगेट ऑनली फोर पॉइंट थ्री सेवन परसेंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलियन विद दिस यूट्यूब प्रोपर्टीज टेकन हेयर सो दैट इज द पोटेंशियल ऑडियंस बेस आई कैन टच Within that 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 25 million 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 So 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 based on you 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 will get 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 an idea. Okay, uh, whatever budget I I I I have, uh, whatever property I have taken. So here I have taken. taken here skippable in stream CPV buying and bumper CPM buying. So, so if clients ask me to, uh, if clients give me give for for to to run a campaign for, uh, one month uh, for South Korea location uh, with this demo and uh, then I can tell a client okay uh, after spending that फाइव million. This is the base. Within this base, with these properties, I can reach uh, hardly five five percent of the base. So, if you are to reach thirty percent or forty percent or fifty percent of the universe or fifty percent of the base, you need more budget here, right? And individually, uh, through these properties, how much on target reach that's also come here, right? What what will be the on target frequency? You you can see here, right? And uh, um uh, it's a, it's a kind of a plan you can you can you can tell client that this is the current situation boss so this much budget required to reach this this amount of uh, this percentage of reach so that is the purpose of reach planner and how to use reach planner uh, through which option you have to go there in dv3 xd that i already discussed here clear okay then uh, let's go to the other two important uh, options one is uh, my inventory and negotiation so so this uh, my inventory marketplace so marketplace is a, a option it's a, it's not clearly visible here because uh, my uh, whatever edit i have done uh, through this paint it's not proper so that's why i am not able to see this marketplace option here you can see here marketplace written over here so uh, through this marketplace you can uh, book uh, it's, it's a marketplace basically market for buying inventory or buy market of uh, booking inventory so If you go to this marketplace, you will see all the uh, vendors who are selling or who are available to uh, sell their inventories. I mean, so you can book certain amount of inventory in the my inventory tab. Also used for uh, so for an example, you already closed a deal with uh, some some vendor for an example, Times of India. They created a PMP deal, not PG PMP deal for you. So you can see all those details. I mean, so did that deal ID, deal name, everything in the Uh, my inventory tab. Based on that, you can create a line item. You can append that deal through that line item, and you can run that uh, deal within a campaign in DV three six. Being the PMP deal details, everything you will get it here in my inventory tab. If you already closed a a PMP deal with any vendor, plus if you want to book any particular inventory uh, from particular vendor or particular publisher, you can you can check that in marketplace option. And the third one is negotiation. it's it's for the pg deal so if you uh, already closed a pg deal programmatic guaranteed deal with any vendor so if they push any deal here in dv3xt you will see those deals here you can accept the deal from here from this negotiation tab and uh, you can push that deal to the right campaign right then we can come here directly to the resource option so in the resource option uh, you can check this option ke channel and keywords so for an example if you want that you would want to run your campaign uh, to those pages which contains this a b c keyword so you want those keywords to be excluded from all the campaigns under this advertiser so you can create a i mean uh, keyword list with this a b c d keywords and you can exclude it from the advertiser level from here then all the campaigns all the lis all the ios uh, whatever you are running uh, within this advertiser this a b c d keywords will be excluded from all of them so this channel keyword inclusion ex exclusion from advertiser level you can all uh, you can do all those things from here and then whatever floodlets whatever floodlets uh, you have uh, linked with this uh, advertiser so generally floodlet just for your your foi so floodlet basically it's such a code generally Uh, we generate this floodlet scroll codes from dcm double click ca campaign manager uh, generate this uh, floodlet codes from dcm and we generally append those 
quotes in advertisers pages so people who are visiting advertisers pages uh, what our activity they are doing uh, those floodlights generally collect those information and passes those information from advertisers page through those quotes to DCM and because DCM and DV360 advertiser are linked so those information from DCM it will pass to DV360 uh, as well so so uh, if you go to this uh, 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 floodlight group you can see all the floodlights which are linked with these advertisers uh, you can see the information about them here right then the uh, next important option which uh, often used by the buyers that is experiment and lift so if you click on this experiment and lift uh, then uh, you will we'll, we'll see this uh, ui if you click here new study after clicking this you can create a new bls study so generally we do bls study for the youtube activities mainly for our clients basically so hopefully you guys already know what is bls study so basically there will be a control group there is a exposed group so uh, generally youtube divide few people under control few people under exposed so exposed group will uh, expose with the ad and control group will not see the ad after that both of them both of the people of the both of the group uh, i mean uh, youtube will ask some questions some service whatever question you set here so then they will see the people who already have seen your ad how they are reacting and people who are part of control group who haven't seen your ad how they are reacting to those questions and then they will see there is a lipment upliftment or some difference between them or not so that is your lift that lift calculated by bls study basically so this bls study uh, uh, we generally do from here after clicking this new study new study and this new study comes under experiment and leap option so these are the uh, important options under uh, resources okay and then the last option uh, advertiser setting so this advertiser setting within the, within this you can see the basic details the advertiser name advertiser currency which advertiser time zone uh, then what are the accounts linked with this advertiser if any clients youtube uh, channel linked with this advertiser so you have to do it here so you have to go to this link account option in this link account option you have to link that advertisers youtube channel here so this linking thing will happen here if you want to set any alert so for an example if you are any 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 line item or any io or any campaign is not delivering any 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 uh, creative deactivated so those alerts will come automatically in your ui to set those alerts you can you can set all those alerts here in the alert configuration so here you see all the basic details of advertiser so these are the uh, main options you will see here so hopefully this area is clear to you now in my next video I'll focus on creating campaign so as I told you in my first slide that uh, in this video I'm going to cover all these options and after this in my next video I'll go to this campaign uh, option and if you click this campaign you will see all the campaigns within it if there is no campaign then you will see blank here and uh, if you click here you can create a new campaign so in, I, I'll create a new campaign within campaign I'll create I use Within us, I'll create line item, what are the target options, how to do bidding, how to take different different type of audiences, everything I'm going to discuss in my next video. And if you like it, then uh, please uh, like, subscribe, share, or if you have any comment, please feel free to do so. Thanks, take care, bye.